How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be cleaning and I guess in a way slightly restoring the junkyard interior that I recently got for my 2003 Saab 93. If you guys happen to miss the video where I got this, go ahead and check it out in the top corner up here when you're done watching this one. But this is a 2007, this interior was offered for one year. It is the anniversary interior so you can see it's a step up from the standard uh, I guess linear or arc interior and in my opinion, it's better than the arrow interior as well You can tell it's the anniversary interior by the Saab logo right there it Isn't really another interior with that But today we're going to be spending a lot of time cleaning not only these two seats right here But cleaning the back seats as well. We have the backrests right here We have the side bolsters for the backrests right here. Then of course we have the bottom bench and you can see these are pretty, pretty gross. There's just a lot of dirt and dust and grime all in these. So we're going to be working today to try and clean these up and get them ready to install in the car. So first thing I'm going to do is vacuum it. Apologies, dog is just kind of chilling over here. First thing we're going to do is vacuum it, try and get all that debris and crap out. Next thing after that, we're going to come in here. I think I'm going to use these interior wipes. This is kind of meant for like all interior, but it's mainly, I've mainly used it for like my dashboard and stuff before, but I'm gonna try it on the seat, see how that works. And then I'm gonna, of course, use this cleaner and conditioner as well. And I also have this other bottle of conditioner, but this is just about empty, so I don't think I'll use this. But I figure I'll mention it anyway. I mean, because this one is a cleaner and conditioner, so this one is kind of like a two-in-one, combines those two into one, so I might not even use this either. I guess we'll see. I figure I wanted to mention all of them to you guys, but these seats really need a good clean. Only imperfection with any part of the interior is that right there on the driver's seat. My Turbo X has a very similar seat to this one and it has the same exact uh, imperfection right there. It's just a common thing. I'm sure anyone else with an interior like this might have the same exact one as well. But I'm done talking. Let's go ahead, vacuum all this crap up and get started with the cleaning process. I guess I'll start with the passenger one. There's just so much like little gross debris and crap. Who knows how long it's been in there. I'm gonna turn the audio down for this next part though so you don't have to listen to the uh, sound of the vacuum for however long it ends up being. So the cushions were obviously really the only part that needed to be vacuumed. Everything else, the backrests obviously are uh, not going to have a bunch of like little debris and crumbs in them. Dog's just chilling over there, distracting me. Uh, so I'm just going to use these interior wipes now, try and get like all this dust off. Now there's like you can see marks all around here, especially on the bottom of that one and that one. There's just a bunch of marks. I, they seem like dirt marks, so I assume they're going to come right off, but I guess we'll see. So let's go ahead and start wiping this all down. Scared to see how dirty this is going to be. It's after about maybe 30 seconds of wiping. So yeah, that was just one of the back seats. Clearly extremely filthy, like I thought. So it's still a little bit wet in some places, but you can see all those dirt marks are all gone. So I'm going to do the same thing now for the two uh, front seats. We'll do it for all this stuff too. I'm going to make sure I get all these plastic, or I guess the side support here, whatever you want to call this with the seat controls. Wipe all that down too. I'm also going to make sure to uh, wipe down the back as well because you know there's a bunch of footprints and stuff from people sitting in the back. This is a new wipe. There's clearly a lot of crap on these. It's pretty disgusting when you think about it because God knows what that dirt's from and who it's from. Regardless, show must go on. I'm not going to complain. Let's 
side bolsters are probably the best out of everything. Easiest thing to clean. They're not very dirty to begin with and they're just very straightforward to wipe down. And now for the backrests, again, not as dirty, just kind of the nature of it. Bottoms tend to be dirtier. Just still gonna wipe it down though, it doesn't hurt. Other side cushion, now for some reason I noticed, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's like a mark right here on this headrest. So I don't know if the headrests are the same, but if they are, I'll probably use one of my old headrests on the back seat. Just that way I don't have that mark there. I mean, it's not too bad or anything, but ideally, you know, you just not have it. Lastly, I have these two little plastic covers that go around the front seats, kind of on the bottom and then on the side with the door. I guess just to help cover up like the seat rail and stuff. So these are a little bit dirty and almost have like soda stains on them or something. So I'm gonna make sure to wipe these down too. Of course, if they're scratched, like this one is, that's not gonna, wiping it down is not gonna do anything. But it is what it is. They're not very noticeable to begin with. And again, another part that I'm sure is identical to the current part that's in mine. Although going back to the headrest, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I think the stitching is different on these. Like it's almost like a contrasting stitch color. Like it's not the same exact color, like it's a light gray. I don't know. I'm gonna take all my uh, dirty towels here, throw these out, pretty disgusting. And we'll get to the uh, last step of the cleaning. The last step, going to use this Meguiar's uh, leather cleaner and conditioner. Uh, just gonna put it's just a gel I guess so we're just gonna shake it up and then put it on a towel and then wipe it on and after I go through and do everything I'll go back and wipe it off wipe whatever might be left off so let's get to it always got to do that obligatory I don't know if that's a lot or not I guess we'll see I figure I should mention two things here. One being, if you missed my video, my last video on Holden shutting down, which you might have not just watched that because it might not have just interested you at all. But in that video at the beginning, I mentioned that we sold our 9.5 wagon, which means that we are searching for a new car, new Saab. So with that being said, stay tuned for that. What my dad is looking for, because it's going to be his car, is pretty specific. You guys are welcome to make your guesses down below, but it might not come in a week. It's probably going to take a, a bit longer than that for him to find exactly what he wants. So uh, think what you want. Don't get your hopes up too much, though. I mean, I guess you can get your hopes up because it is pretty cool what he wants. I guess I'll give you a hint by saying sorry. It's not a classic Saab. He wants something that's newer. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, my plan for installing these. So my plan for installing these probably would have been, well, around the time that you were seeing this video, but the ARC is actually having a strange issue right now. If you saw my Instagram story, what would probably have been almost a week ago by now, by the time you're seeing this video, uh, you would know that the temperature gauge is acting up. So I have a new thermostat and uh, temperature sensor, as a plane goes overhead, uh, on the way from East Saab Parts. So that's gonna take up my free time this week is fixing that. I guess look forward to a video replacing the thermostat. Not gonna be as exciting as a video on the seats. When this install will come, I don't know, because I will be out of town for almost a week. And I don't think I'm going to have time to do it before then. But, of course, if you guys want the most up-to-date stuff on what I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram. Shameless plug. So last piece, I'm just going to leave it here because I don't really have anywhere else I can set it that's not on the ground that is clean. So I really don't want to just, you know, put it somewhere that's going to get dirty. I'm just going to take the other side of the towel and wipe down everything again. I'll spare you guys the boredom of watching that. With that being said, guys, <laughs> I guess that's it for today. 
Hopefully the install of these seats will come sometime soon. Like I said, check head over to my Instagram. You can see the most up-to-date stuff on what's going on with the cars and when I install this interior, because it's going to be a huge upgrade over the stock, I guess, base model or arc seats. Uh, these are way more sportier, way more supportive, way softer, better in every way. But with that being said, leave your thoughts down below on the interior. Do you think this was a pretty good find for the junkyard? I'd say so for sure. I'm very happy and very lucky to have found this, and I had no reason not to go get them and do the upgrade. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see y'all next time.